Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm giving myself a hair oil treatment just because we've got nothing else to do. So I'm starting out by brushing my hair with water. You really want to brush out your hair and it's super important because you want the product to spread out evenly. Um, and then if you do have any tangles, just make sure you brush them out carefully. Don't rip your hair, but really try and carefully take them out. So I wouldn't recommend using any detangler because you want the oil to really be absorbed into your hair. At this point, I like to use a wet brush to really help smooth out the hair. Um, I know it looks like I put a lot of water in my hair, but really my the type of hair I have, it's really porous and what that means is it just absorbs moisture so it'll be fine once I get to actually putting the oil on my hair. So at this point you just want your hair to be smooth, you can run your fingers through it no problem. Um, just it makes your life easier for the next step. So the product I'm using here is called Mealies. Mealies? Yeah I don't know. It's a rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil for daily use, scalp treatments, and split end care. I found this product at Target. It has no parabens or sulfates. I am transitioning into a zero waste lifestyle, so I'm just trying to use any and all products I have up so I don't create more waste in just throwing everything away and starting from scratch. So as you can see, I've been sectioning my hair and really saturating my scalp with this oil and really making sure I'm rubbing it in afterwards. So the difference between oil treatments and hair masks is virtually heat because heat helps penetrate your hair better. Uh, I would suggest using a heating cap just so the oil really does penetrate your hair shaft. Take the extra step and put on a timer for two minutes to rub your scalp upside down. This just helps the blood flow, giving you a really good head massage. I got a little tired, but you know, I have poor upper body strength. Now that you're looking cute, you're gonna wanna brush your hair out just to distribute the oils down your hair shaft. Yes, I got a little hot, so hydrate because you're still not done. So right now I'm going to mix all three of these oils together. I have Aragon oil, coconut oil, and my mealy oil. Just a warning, be careful not to spill. Oil is very oily. <laughs> um, so we're going to mix them all together in the palm of your hands and apply them to the ends of your hair. Um, just try and focus on your ends and then slowly move up. I like to do the first application solely on my ends and then rake upwards. Also use a brush, get it in there, separate your hair. So for the next application, you can focus more on the areas of your hair that don't get that much attention, like towards the back of your head. It kind of more like in the middle back part of your head. I feel like that part of your hair doesn't get much attention because you always focus on the top area, like the crown. So once you're done with the second, you can do a third, but I'm pretty good at a second application. Um, you want your hair to look like this, and then you want to brush it out again. So you can put it up in a bun, and then if you want, I used to use a plastic bag. That's virtually the same thing. It keeps the heat in. But since I'm trying to go zero waste, I'm just leaving my hair like this until I buy a heating cap. You want to wait at least 30 to 40 minutes just so it saturates your hair. I am the sky above. 
All right, so you've waited about 30 to 40 minutes, and now you just wanna proceed with your regular shower routine, shampoo and conditioner. I had to shampoo my hair about three times to make sure to get all the oil out. Um, just a warning. And then proceed to air dry with your usual products.